Hey guys, welcome back to another Zeal Cigar Review. I'm Bradley here with Know It All JB, and today we're discussing some cigars that are straight, fuoco, or fire, all next on the Zeal Cigar Review. So these cigars are straight fire. Well, I guess I guess Fuoco is Italian for fire, right? Is that right? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Fu Fuoco? Yeah, Fuoco? 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 I don't want to say it wrong because I'd get banned by YouTube. Uh, but here's, here's the reality. Fratello has just released their main best-selling brands in a smaller kind of a dog walker, you know, blend. So uh, Omar from Fratello is promising these are just as good, if not better, with more of a condensed like smoke there because of the shorter flavor so we're gonna put that to the test right now we're gonna cut light and smoke these and may i missed the whole thing i i i apologize we we have to cut light and smoke sorry i don't know if i want to cut or bite it yeah it's got the pigtail on you can see the pigtail bite it. i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna cut it yeah i'm gonna cut it so uh we're gonna cut these things up and see what they actually taste like but uh we also have another cigar that we're gonna Ooh. review today and we're talking about the big Texan. What's up, Texas? The whole think, country of Texas. The whole country of Texas <laughs> in a cigar form. This is a 7x56, 58. This thing is This giant. thing is huge. Look at this thing, man. It's heavy. I can't wait to smoke this one as well, but we're going to first smoke this one and uh, see what we think. So you're smoking. I'm smoking the Oro. This is one of my favorite cigars that Fratello makes. I can't wait. I'm taking off the wrapper, too. And uh, I'm just going to cut light and smoke it and see what it tastes like because... Yeah, the Oro is really good. Yeah, dude. It's just... It's not your average everyday Connecticut. I know that. And so this is the... I think it's the Blanco? Or the Bianco. Bi Bianco. 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 That's what it is. Do you have a cutter? Oh, yeah, I have a cutter. You want my V? Nope. Don't want your V. You don't want my pink V? Keep your pink V. They have a close foot on here, too, which I don't know is necessarily true of the original. I don't think the original had a close foot on Maybe it did, and I just forgot about it. But I don't think it did. So the closed foot is obviously, if you watch the channel for any amount of time, I hate closed foot cigars. But I'll deal with it because it is Omar. So. Mmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mmm. Creamy getting... pepper. Mmm. For me, it was coffee right in the mouth, right off mm. the rip. This is creamy pepper, dude. Yeah? Ooh, woodsy notes on there. Ooh, creamy pepper in the woods. Creamy pepper in the woods. It's like you have a cream pie, and you just put a little pepper on it and eating it outside in the woods. <laughs> or in a wood shop. So what you're doing is you're, you're trimming a tree... And somebody brings you a pie no, because no, you're tripping. You're hacking tree. down a tree like a good man, <laughs> as a lumberjack lumber would do. <laughs> That's what you're doing. And some of the wood chips get into your pie that the neighbor brought you. Mm. Oh my gosh. I might like this better than the Toro I smoked. Oh, really? Yeah. This is really good. Holy moly. Man, for a, a short little one. So you beginners out there, you're just, you're, just, you're just getting the cigars. You don't want a long stick. Wow. Perfect, perfect, perfect stick for you nice short it's, but it's but it's still like a i mean it's kind of like a cut down robusto it's like getting into the second third without having to smoke through like the first half of the first third yes yes that's kind of what it is it's weird and this is really good this one's really good i'm i'm impressed cream pepper wood cream pepper wood cream pepper wood cream is, pepper wood is it, is it, cream, pe if you say pepper wood too fast you're gonna end up saying pecker wood now pepper, we're gonna get banned pepper, by YouTube. Pepper, Thanks, pepper, Justin. Pepper. We offended somebody Woodpecker. out there. Somebody's triggered. Bird. Somebody's triggered. Would you ever want to go to space? No, dude. No. I don't fly, bro. We are. We've been over this a million times. Like it, I it, am not flying. I mean, you drug me and get me on a plane. Sure. If, if you did, though. If I did. Where would you want to go? If you had the ability to travel light speed, bro. Oh, okay. Anywhere in the galaxy. Oh, that's a great question. Where, where would you want to go? In Obviously, space? Omar used to work for NASA, and everyone knows the story and everything like that. So Justin has a space a space comment for you. So. Uh, comment below. Where would you want to go to space? I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I, you know, I think, in all honesty, light speed, kind of fast as, as could be, I'd like to go to the very outer edge if you could ever get there. 
But they say the universe is always expanding. They so say that we don't know edge? that. I just I don't. I don't buy you that. You don't go down there the rabbit be, hole now. There bro. has to be a stopping point somewhere. I is, mean, is the, the only flat? thing that is ultimate is God, not not <laughs> is, space. Is the universe flat? The the world is flat, not the universe. Yeah, dude. What's I up with I the shirt? What's up with what? I got, I don't oh, know. repping state tattoo here in Arizona. Your boy's about ready to get a tattoo. I'm about ready to get a tattoo. I want to get a nice little sleeve right here. I just don't know what I want. Has yet. that been approved? Huh? That's approved. It's that been is, approved? That is wife approved. Oh. That is wife approved. So leave a comment below. What tattoo should I get in here? Tell it, me. It right should be here. like a moon man. Like. Huh? A moon man? <laughs> a little Fortello logo on there or something like that? Uh, I'm a little moon man sticking a. Uh, Omar Bay gave you some money for that. I know, I know. That's, that's free stamp advertising it, yeah, right stamp there. It's a big it. arm. It's a big arm. So I'm not sure which kind of tattoo I want to get. All I know is I'm going to blast off. Uh, what, dude? I'm trying to trying to tie it in, the transition. Um, I'll tell you, back to the cigars and, and, and less terrible puns. Um, the cigar mm. really is good. It, it does have that creamy, pepperish, that, uh, that woodsy note that's really, really prominent. And still, just like all of Fratello's cigars, man, super freaking clean. Yeah, dude. It is. If you guys want those cigars that don't leave that, like, nasty taste in your mouth, Fratello, Fratello does it well. They really do. They're, in my opinion, one of the best in, at that. Mm. I got to try the Texan. I mean, want to try the Texan, dude. Yeah, Omar told See. me no the first time I asked about those. He's like, nah, bro, you got to go to Texas for these, dog. <laughs> so when they came in, I was like... Yes. Hook the brother up with that yes. thing. Yes. So let's see what this thing tastes like. Dark Lajero in there. This is my kind of cigar right here. Oh, my goodness. I wanted to retire in Texas. About this, bro. My wife did not. So I bought my retirement home here in Phoenix. And we will be here until the day I die. She didn't want to live in the country of Texas? She didn't want to live in the country of Texas. Oh, oh, oh. Easy pool. Yeah? Sweet. Sweet on the retrohale right away. And we were thinking it was going to be a spicy mm -hmm. monkey, huh? Easy draw. Sweet. This is good. This is delicious. Oh. <laughs> this is stupid good. Uh, this is stupid good. This is so good. Man. Omar, why are you going to be making such great cigars? i got to smoke both of them now. And I can't smoke both of these at the same time. Is it possible to smoke a really big Texan and a little bit of Fuko at the same time? We're going to find out. Look, my no hands. What? <laughs> so the big Texan is right up my alley, dude. This is what's up. This really is. Sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Some hazelnut. It definitely does have some hazelnut in there. Slight coffee. Yeah. Dark earth. Is there like some other kind of spite? Like it's not cinnamony. It tastes like yeah, that. Is it, like, it tastes cinnamony. Like a yeah, it's a, probably the hazelnut thing tasting. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Dude, this is so good. A great, fantastic cigar. Mm. This big Texan. Dude, this is great. It's got a little pepper on it. Not much. Or spice, rather. More spice. More spice. I don't taste much pepper. Yeah, maybe like a two or three. Not much on hey, the pepper. Dude, this thing's head, like it's packed. And it's a it has big a light cigar. draw. It really is. This has more of a dense smoke output than the Big Texan. It's more hmm. dense, it's more rich. Um, and you can kind of see it even all, just off the cigar. It feels more packed than the Big Texan. Not the Big Texan that plenty of tobacco in it. Sure does. But they got to make some room for that tobacco. Yeah, this thing is definitely after a steak dinner. You definitely don't want to just sit around and smoke this any time for no reason. This is <laughs> on great. A, on an empty stomach, bro. This, this is great. This is great. Oh, dude. Dude, I'm so Dude, thank you, Omar. These are good. So where would I want to go... You said to the edge of the universe. To the edge of the universe. Where would you want to go? Man, I think for me, like, I would want to go one of two places. I would either want to go to the moon, or I would want to go to, like, um, if I was able to, like, like Venus. Mm-hmm. Just because that's, I think it's Venus. 
I think that's what's the has the most like Earth's atmosphere. It's Venus? just too hot. Yeah. I think is what uh, I think Venus? It's Venus. Venus or Mercury? I think it's Venus. No, Venus is smart further away, isn't it? Is it going Mercury? Then it goes Venus. Holy Venus? shit! I don't remember. Public school education. Venus is yeah, it's hotter. You're right. So Mercury, Venus, Earth. So it's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Mars and then so on. Nobody cares about the yeah, other Yeah, so I, would, I think Venus, they said, is like the most like Earth's atmosphere, but it's so hot, and I guess it has some pretty volatile weather systems. Well, yeah, it's got to be so... We couldn't go to Venus. Well, that's no what way. I'm saying. If yeah, I yeah. could, that's where I'd... You I'd want to go to Venus? I'd want to see that, yeah. Okay. All I'd right. want to see that. Or like, or like to get beyond like the clouds of Neptune or something like that, get into there. Okay. That's super cold. Float through Saturn. Is it range. Mars is super cold too? Is yeah. it? Yeah. But we got pictures of Mars, which is pretty cool, from the rovers and everything like that. No alien life though yet. I, I don't didn't know what to do Matt about Damon. that, Joe Rogan. What's What's the craziest like outlandish theory you've heard about space? That doesn't exist. That space doesn't exist, and it's it's interesting. It's just a it's just a that nobody really went up there. Yeah, nobody. The yeah, maybe? everything everything is faked. All space launches, everything like that. SpaceX, you know that that uh, Sir Richard Branning yeah, and uh, and who's the other guy? Uh, Tesla guy, Elon. Elon Musk. SpaceX. They didn't really go to space. It's all just a, a conspiracy. That's, I don't think that's true. Like the moon's hollow. Yeah, I've heard that before. But I think you although told me that. they have said that they have hit like they've drilled and like hit into the. We've drilled the, on the moon. Like not like drill, yeah, but like drill. hit the surface with like a, not like a drill, oh, like, but like a sonar a, like type a thing. Yeah. And it 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 they said that the moon actually like, rang, like a bell, like vibrated. That seems a little conspiracy theory to me. What are your best space conspiracy theories? Let me know in the comment section. Where would you want to go in space? Let me know in the comment section. And have you had these cigars yet? Mm. Let us know in the comment section. If you haven't, I know a guy. Cinnamon, hazelnut, a little bit of coffee, incredible, incredible draw, perfect draw. And again, clean. It's it's like he, I don't know. It, it's weird how these cigars are so clean. So perfectly balanced. I guess that's the biggest thing about yeah. Fertel cigars. Clean and perfectly balanced. You want a really good, clean, perfectly balanced cigar? A guy, Brad that, a guy that worked at NASA, especially with what he did, crunching numbers for NASA, mm -hmm. specifically their budget, uh, you're gonna pay attention to the details, man. Oh, yeah. I think I think you, I think Fratello is overlooked big time on the details that he takes into account. Absolutely, absolutely, I absolutely agree with that. Well, give me your give me your thoughts on the old uh, the old Fuoco, Fu Fuoco, Fuoco, the fire, the, the fire. fire, the fire stick. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Still lit. That's a big plus for me. Oh, yeah, dude. Let us sit for a little dude. bit. Tighter draw. It's incredible. Tighter draw. Is yours tighter draw? Mm hmm Yeah, tighter draw. But it's a really, really good stick. This could probably be a good 35, 40-minute stick. Could, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out there, though. Could you imagine the flavor of the Texan in this size? That would blow your mind. Man. So if you've had the big Texan, drop a comment as, as well, because we want to hear from you on that. And... Uh, we got to get back to work. We got a lot to do today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review and let us know what your greatest space conspiracy theories are. And if you had any of these sticks by Fratello, please drop a comment below because we do read your comments. And with that said, we're out of here like last year. Peace. What move would you do on the moon, though? Like if you were jumping on the moon anti gravity? The moonwalk, bro. You would just do the moonwalk? The moonwalk, bro. bro. <laughs> this big body's lighter up there. I'm doing the moonwalk all day long. What about you? So, what are you doing on the moon? Dude, I'm doing the Jordan. I'm jumping. Yeah? From the other side, bro. Do the space jam? Do the space oh, jam? Oh, the long, the stretch arm, bro? That's what I'm doing. Space jam. What move would you do on the moon? Drop a comment.